Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience at BotCon 2023, go over my hauls, and I'm also going to bring you guys some updates about the channel in addition to some maybe relatively minor Transformers news that happened over the weekend uh, for those of you who are looking for certain Transformers. And I'm going to get into all of that. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's transform and roll out. So I wanna thank each and every one of you who has continued to support the channel, uh, whether it's through Patreon or becoming a channel member or purchasing some of my merch on my Spring Store, in addition to those of you who just subscribe and watch my videos. I met so many of you at BotCon uh, this year. It was just a blast running into so many people. And that to me is the thing that like really makes going to these conventions worth it is because I enjoy being able to share my experiences and my love of Transformers with other Transformers fans because you know, let's face it, you may not, your next door neighbor, your parents, some, some of your friends may not be into these big plastic robots that we buy and, uh, you know, collect and, you know, play with and what have you. But uh, when we get to go to BotCon, we get to see all the energy and, and, and uh, it's just a great experience overall. And that's why I kind of made it a point to go to BotCon this year. But I'll get into a little bit more on that. Let's just talk some Transformers news real first. So the big news, of course, over the weekend uh, was, I mean, while I was in the middle of traveling, was that the pre-orders for many of the Studio Series figures that, you know, some of you have been wondering when there's those pre-orders are going to become available with Frenzy, Ultra Magnus, and Ratchet. In addition to, let's see, you've got Friend, you know, um, Nightbird, and Noah Diaz, and an Exosuit, and Novocaine are all available now for pre-order. And of course, now I can put up the pre-order links uh, for those of you who have been looking to get it. So if you use one of the uh, affiliate links, you know, down below, of course, that does help the channel a bit. So you can either use Entertainment Earth or Amazon, uh, whichever one, uh, you know, suits your fancy. In addition, Toy Hacks has given us some updates for some new uh, label sheets. If you want to actually put that up on your, uh, you know, Transformers, you guys probably saw I did the review on the Nemesis, and I noticed that there was, uh, you know, it lacked a little bit of a detail and. Toy Hacks has gone above and beyond for this figure, uh, but they also have a few more label she sheets as well, and you can use the uh, promo code below to get 15% off until the end of the month, and uh, we'll have a new one up for September, so you can uh, stay tuned for that. Now, you guys are probably wondering, you know, hey, I'm, I'm doing this video like right before a hurricane. In fact, it's starting to rain and get really windy right now. You guys know that I moved from New Jersey to Florida, and it seems that Hurricane Idalia, I think it's the name is, is kind of like in a tra tra trajectory to be basically heading in my direction. Um, but I live about an hour uh, inland, so I'm hoping that, you know, I mean, you know, everything we have is prepared and there's no going to be no power outages or anything else like that. But we're, you know, battening down and, uh, you know, we're going to spend time with the family. And uh, while I'm also going to be working on my Mirage retrospective is going to get a update, hopefully by the end of the week, as, <laughs> so long as nothing, you know, delays me any further. But, you know, so for BotCon specifically, you know, I wasn't originally intending to go when it, it came back last year. I was like, oh, man, I would really love to go. I believe it was in Chicago or Tennessee or wherever it was. I was like, unfortunately, I can't make it out there. I am currently in the process of trying to find a new place to live. That's what's what my big, you know, experience last year. And I ended up moving down here to, to Florida. And then they had the, you know, announcement that it's in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And I'm like, well, I mean, I lived in New Jersey, but I can't quite, you know, make it there quite you know easily so i got in contact with some of the people at botcon they were like listen you gotta come you know we'll we'll give you you know uh you know access because you know you'll you know you're a bigger youtuber and we'll put you on a, a you know youtube you know youtubers uh, po uh panel and i saw the guest list i was really excited because a lot of the transformers cyberverse cast was going to be there in addition to beast wars cast and that 
the Beast Wars cast was like definitely the main draw for me, even though, you know, Cy I technically am a Cyberverse cast member, if you think about it, really, because I had my name listed in one of the, um, you know, on, on that label there in, you know, season four, episode one. So that was always a cool thing. But, you know, so I had to work what I could to actually go. And so I made it up there. Uh, it was at the American Dream Mall, which is a really weird location. You know, having a, you know, a convention take place in a mall. But this was like a, this place is like a mega mall. It is three floors. It's supposed to be four floors. It has an, uh, an attachment with an indoor uh, ski slope. It has, you know, an entire theme park on one side of the park, on one side of the mall, uh, which you can go to. It's like a Nickelodeon park. It has an indoor water park. It has... I mean, gosh, you can get lost really easily. So you just have to know where to park. It is on the third floor, and it's at this, like, area where they were able to have the convention. And where they had it was pretty good. Uh, the only downside to it, and this is kind of like, you know, really for a lot of people, a lot of times they have these conventions, and it's in the ballroom of a hotel. So having it there, everybody who's staying at the hotel can just make their way over to the convention itself, and then after the show, you know, the dealer room closes, everybody brings their bins out for parts parties. Well, unfortunately, because of the way that this particular convention worked, I don't think everybody stayed at the same hotel. So what ended up happening was is that only those who were staying at that hotel really could participate in those parts parties, you know, and it was rather, rather small. Now I've been to a TF con before, and let me tell you, like the whole parts party thing was just is definitely something that's really it's an experience that's worth it. But they were at least able to do so. It's just that you had to have been at that particular. I think it was the Hilton, uh, which is like a to get around from the, you know, from the American Dream Mall parking lot to the hotel. You have to like go around in a weird way around MetLife Stadium, which is where the Giants and the Jets play. And on Saturday was a preseason football game. So they had cones blocked off. So just to get back to that hotel was crazy. Now, I stayed at my sister's house. So it was, you know, either she was going to end up dropping me off before she goes to work and either comes and picks me up or I would have to have an Uber or something. But most, most of the time it was her. And that was really cool because at least I was able to spend time with family because uh, she still lives in North Jersey. So she was on her way to work and then she would just drop me off. So Friday was a pretty cool, pretty cool day during the actual show itself. But at, you know, from what I saw on the website, on BotCon's website, was there was these different, you know, events and stuff. And I was trying to ask like everybody like, hey, you know, I mean, if you invited me as a guest, you know, is there something I'm supposed to do? Is there some place that I'm supposed to go? And they're like, oh, yeah, well, let me let me find out. Let me find out. So they really kind of didn't get the information, you know, where I was supposed to go with, you know, what have you. And there was another private event specifically for a Facebook group that does this like private event for, for you know, for those who are involved with them. And I don't want to name call them because it, it wasn't really their fault, but it was more so that like, there was a BotCon centered event that was kind of like that was private, but I was able to go to. And then there was the other face, the other Facebook group. And I'm like, well, can I go to it? And, you know, so all of a sudden, like, you know, all I got the, from the information from them was, oh, no, this is just a private event that you had to pay for for that, like, particular thing that they were selling. And I'm like, all right, look, I mean, I had to get a ride from the mall to the hotel and I'm staying later than I normally would because it's not like I easily have a ride. So I just called my sister back up, you know, hung out. But then Saturday was a much better day. Like I, there was a lot more people there on Saturday and, you know, going in and out and checking out the showroom floor. I mean, saw, you know, Deluxe was there and, um, you know, obviously the voice actors and such, you know, and Susan Blue was there as well. And Reflector Files, uh, if you're familiar with him, and he sells off his T-shirts, and he does, like, some really cool, you know, uh, photographs. And Robosen had their Optimus Prime, their Bumblebee, and their Grimlock on display. And they're bigger than Masterpiece figures. Like, those things are massive. I mean, I've never seen a Grimlock that size. It's huge. I'm like, I don't know where I would put that. I mean, the Nebesis is big enough, but, you know, hey, it's... 
it's still cool, right? And, you know, Sunday was kind of like a moseying day where I was just kind of like spending time with some friends that were only able to come on Sunday. It was really good to see them. And I, I just, I mean, I had a really great time. The other thing that I, I really, really enjoyed out of this convention was seeing, I mean, I'm seeing, obviously seeing people cosplay, but to me, anybody who like, I mean, if you follow my channel, you watch me on YouTube and you appreciate what I do, just those of you who came to BotCon and said hi, I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Um, whether you just kind of like in passing recognize me or what have you, I'm not a, like when it comes down to it, if you want to come up to me and you want to say hi, I'm perfectly fine with that. And the the voice actors that I met too, like um, they were really friendly. I mean, Venus, um, I've met her, you know, numerous times now at this as well. So she's like, oh, how's dad doing? Gary Chalk was there. We were chit chatting and the voice cast, Jeremy Levy, uh, Ryan Andes, Travis Arts. They were all cool people to have conversations with and just be mellow and chill. I told Jessica Di Giovanni uh, about that they're coming out with a Windblade figure next year, and I'm gonna have to get in touch with her about like, you know, when that figure does show, because she's like, yeah, I really want a good Windblade figure, uh, you know, to kind of like say like, hey, like I played this part, and you know, she did a you know really good job, and so she was just super uh, excited to be to be there, and also. Uh, Courtney Shaw, who is the voice of Rescue Bots Whirl, was there. Absolute sweetheart was there with her husband and her one-year-old son, and they were just—it was just a wonderful time talking to them. Dick Terhune, uh, who voices uh, Cyberverse Prowl and Mac Adam, or you know McAdam, however you want to say it. And um, it's, it's funny too. Speaking of Dick Terhune, he actually tried to you know, say it the way that other Transformers series uh, have said it before, and they actually corrected him. Like, he was trying to say Quintesson, and they were like, no, it's Quintesson, and, uh, you know, how we're, we're doing it. But it says in Generation 1, they used to say Quintesson. Well, we're saying Quintesson. Like, okay. And that's pretty much kind of like how, like, a lot of the voice actors looked at it. when it, If they were Generation 1 fans or if they were fans of Transformers in general, they would try to say it the way that other Transformers series say it and they directed them to do it otherwise so that was something interesting to learn also to learn that you know susan blue has been you know not only did was she the voice of rc but she was also you know the voice director of many other transformer series so she worked with beast you know the people on beast wars she you know, obviously worked with transformers animated and uh transformers prime so she's always been you know there um you know within the Transformers franchise and has played a pivotal part in it as too. So uh, Jamie Lamtrick was uh, was also there for, for a little bit. And, um, you know, then it came down to what I was able to get, acquire, purchase, what have you. And I'm going to go over my hauls. So I ended up getting uh, a subscriber uh, who was really excited to meet me. You know, at, you know, he was there with his girlfriend and uh, the two of them came up to me with legacy beachcomber he's like i heard you were you know looking for beachcomber and you know i wanted to make give it to you and, and let me tell you something I, i'm flabbergasted you know that that folks would want to you know help me out or get you know in any way shape or form whether they watch my videos or what have you but to you know to actually reach out and say hey here you know here's a uh, you know transformer to add to your collection like I, I can't express my gratitude i really i really really do appreciate it i mean transformers fans we can really come together when it comes down to it. Even if we don't like a particular Transformers series, like I'm a G1 guy, a Beast Wars guy, I like animated, and I, I, I like animated more than than Prime. And uh, you know, I enjoyed Cyberverse, but every Transformers series has its ups and its downs, and you guys know that. But like, we all have our preferences, but we can all come together to enjoy these plastic robots together. So I also acquired uh, Axle Grease because I wanted to get more of the Junkions. But then came the two grails, <laughs> really. Like, as far as like modern stuff is concerned, was stuff that I really wanted to get to add to my collection. Because I, you know, some, I had a, this question asked of me like a hundred times. Like, it, like everybody was asking me like, hey, how come you don't collect third party? How come you don't collect third party? How come you don't collect third party? And I'm like, well, first and foremost, I don't collect masterpiece scale because I committed to, you know, 
uh, War for Cybertron and uh, and Legacy scale. I really, really like that scale for figures. I think that that matches the Transformers really well. So I'm not going to go for Masterpiece and I'm not going to go for Legends. And that's what third party makes. So what choice do I have, right? Um, third party has not made a scaling, you know, Transformers for that. So that question got asked, you know, quite a bit. And I figured I would answer that there uh, because... I ended up getting Earthrise Prowl. I already have the Cyber, the um, the Siege version, uh, which is the Cybertronian mode, and I've got him toy hacks labeled up. I'm gonna have to paint him, and I only got it for 25 bucks. That's a steal. Um, granted that he is missing one of the pieces here that go on the side here, and this one is super loose. But I'm also going to have to paint him, you know, give him some gray legs, get some toy hacks labels up on him uh, just to like really like make him stand out because I wanted him to team up with this guy. Like I love the animated character of Prowl and I like the G1 character too. So to have these two team up is something that I've been waiting for for quite a bit and it's nice to have both figures. But the one figure... You guys probably have heard me say a hundred times that I've been looking for because I was able to get all four limbs of the Stunticons for Legacy. I could not get my hands on it. Every time I had, like, you know, an affiliate credit, you know, enough money to be able to get Motormaster, the pre-order sold out. All right, so I spend the money on, an, on you know, on other Transformers, and then another, you know, I end up getting another, uh, you know, affiliate credit for um you know to get some transformers and so legacy Mo you know motor master shows back up for pre-order and then the pre-order sells out and it kept happening over and over and over and over and over again and i'm like ah and then of course you couldn't get it anymore and then they're saying that they're doing a a reissue on it but the reissue now has been pushed back so i said all right if i if i end up getting it i end up getting it well for 80 bucks Missing the sword, which I'll get into in a moment, I got him. I got him. And I can't begin to tell you how happy I was. It was two friends of mine, one from Queens and one from North Jersey, uh, who came on Sunday and I was hanging out with them. And the, the you know, they were like, Rodimus, you know, we found the motor master you're looking for. And I'm like, really? So I ended up coming and I asked him, is he missing any parts or anything? He's like, oh, he's missing his sword. And then I saw someone else had on display during the weekend a full completed Menasaur was selling the whole thing. And I was like, but I already have the other four limbs and I want to have to go through the trouble of trying to resell the other four when I can just get, you know, Motormaster. And others were selling it in box for 130 And I saw it on display and I saw what the sword looked like and I was like, that sword's really dinky. So I'll end up getting the, the, the third party kit, but for 80 bucks. I got him. Complete other than the sword. I'm going to end up completing my Menasaur. Um, I'm going to end up putting him together, you know, or, you know, throughout the week and just kind of messing around with him because I'm very, very happy about that one. That one, that one kind of like made, 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 uh, made, you know, whatever purchases I was going to make, you know, worth it. But what really made the trip was. You know, I'm not only having conversations with a lot of the voice actors and, and, and you know, people who were there for as guests for for BotCon, but really was meeting so many of you who appreciate Transformers the same way that I do. And just being able to spend time, talk with you guys. And it, it does mean quite a bit. And I, I say this because I've, you know, I've heard around like some people are like, oh, I saw, you know, Rodimus Primal around, but I was too afraid to like go up to him. It's like, look, if you're at a convention or, you know, someplace and you see me and you want to talk to me, you want to say hi, feel free. You know, I'm going to be at uh, Ocala Comic Con next month. I was going to try to make it to RetroCon, but I don't think I can get a plane ticket to go up to, you know, to Pennsylvania. But I am going to also go to TFCon in Orlando. So I fully intend to go there and I hope to have the same experience at TFCon because I mean Deluxe was there and I was I was hanging out with him and so that was really worth it and I gotta say you know 
for all it's worth, you know, the, you know, I want to thank everybody at, ba, you know, BotCon who, you know, organized the event and, and what have you. I had a blast and, you know, I want to know what you guys think. Did you guys end up going to BotCon? Did you see me there? Did you hang out with me? You know, of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're going to another convention, you know, uh, you know, just, hey, you know, let's talk about it or, hey, we'll talk about whatever. You know, again, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. I've got many more Transformers videos going to be coming soon. Uh, I'll keep everybody posted. Hopefully everything is safe here with the with the hurricane and, you know, what have you. Yes, again, I'm going to be working on that Mirage retrospective and I have another retrospective video that uh, I'm working on the script for as well. So you can stay tuned for all that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.